Hello. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how you would grant access to your Google Apps email account to somebody else in your organization. The scenario when you might want to use this is if you're a manager and you have a personal assistant, for example, and you want to give access to your personal assistant so that they can manage your mailbox on your behalf. So just to set the scene, I've got a little diagram here. And for this demo, we're going to assume that we have a manager called Beth, and Beth wants to grant access to her assistant, who's called Dean. Okay, so Beth is in blue and Dean is in red. And just to make things simple, I'll close that diagram down. I've got one browser here with Beth's mailbox open, and it's colored blue. If I switch to another browser, I've got a Dean's mailbox here, colored red. Okay, so let's just get back to Beth. Uh, to start with, I need to go into my settings page. So I'll click on settings, and then I'm going to go to the accounts options click on accounts. Down here you'll see there's an option called grant access to your account. So I'm going to add another account at this point and it's asking me for the email of the person that I'm going to grant access to. So that remember was Dean. So Dean at Cloud Solutions. Next step. Now I'll just expand this box a little bit so you can read the whole story. This box is telling me what's going to happen next. I'm about to grant access to Dean and I will be able to switch that off or revoke that later on. And then there's a little bit of a warning that they will send, Google will send Dean an email that Dean has to then accept. And then once accepted, Dean will be able to log into my account using this rather complicated URL here. But it's a warning that that URL includes our email addresses. So there's Beth and there's Dean's email address. So that's just a little warning because if you're uh, web browsing goes through some proxy services and, and things like that. That uh, URL could get captured by those services and that would then reveal your email address. So that's just a, a bit of a heads up for you. If we're happy with that. I'm just going to click send email to grant access. I'll click that. And now it's telling me a confirmation has been sent to Dean. So let's flip around to Dean's account. And here we are. You can see that Beth has granted you access to their Cloud Solutions account. So if I open this, click on this mail, I can read the story. It says, Beth has granted me access to read, delete, and send mail on their behalf. To accept it, I click this link, or I can reject it and click this link. So naturally, in this scenario, I'm going to click Accept. So now I might be it's saying I can send mail on behalf of Beth. I click, go back to my mail account. Now, it can sometimes take a few minutes for this option to appear, but once you've waited those few minutes and maybe logged out and back in again or, or refreshed your, your mailbox browser window, you'll see in Dean's mailbox next to his name, I've got a little drop down arrow here. And when I click that, it shows me that as Dean, I've also got access to Beth's mailbox. So when I click on Beth's email, it opens in a separate tab for me. So now I can jump backwards and forwards between my own Dean's mailbox and my manager's Beth mailbox. A couple of things to point out here though, when I'm logged in as Beth, I don't have the chat window down here that you might be familiar with. So just flipping back to Dean, here's my chat window so I can chat as Dean. With delegate access, I'm not allowed to chat as my manager, uh, quite rightly. Uh, I can manage the mailbox, but I can't chat. Uh, other differences you might notice would be in the settings page. If I click on settings, and on my delegated account. You see things like labs and offline access are missing from here. So there are, there's a, a reduced set of things that I can manage in, in the mailbox where I've got access to from my manager. Okay, now I can compose a, an email now under Beth's mailbox. And, um, and just as normal, when I send that email, it will uh, appear as if sent from Beth, but it'll say uh, sent by Dean rather on behalf of Beth. So that's it. Thanks for watching.